Hey, hi, how's it going? I'm Adam from Spanglish Academy and today we are going to look at the new preliminary B1 English speaking test, both the format and some tips and tricks to help you carry out the test successfully. So first, when you go to the exam, you will sit in a small room like this one and you take it together with another candidate. There are two examiners, one of the examiner talks to you and the other examiner listens and marks your test. There are four parts to the test. Part one is an interview. You will be asked questions individually by the examiner. The questions will be about your life and you may be asked questions about the present, past and future. Focus on good pronunciation and extending your answers just a little. This part will last about two minutes. Part two or the extended turn, you will have to describe a photo. You will be given a colour photograph and individually will need to be able to describe and speculate about what you see for up to about a minute. Again, this part will normally last for about two to three minutes. In part three, the conversation or discussion, you will be given some images and will be asked to interact with your partner. You will need to discuss, make and respond to suggestions and come to an agreement at the end. Focus on giving your opinions and supporting them with reasons, while also responding to your partner's suggestions and opinions. Listen to what your partner says and develop a conversation. This part will last about four minutes. The final part is a general conversation. This conversation is based on the topic in part three. You will work with your partner and you both need to give opinions, talk about your likes, dislikes, preferences, experiences and habits. Again, try to develop a conversation. How to improve your pet speaking, part one. In part one, you will be asked questions about your past, present and future. Make sure you answer in full questions and not just a few words. Let's have a look at these two examples. Where are you from? Well, I come from Madrid, which is the capital of Spain. Example number two. Where are you from? Madrid. The first answer is much better, as it gives some extra information and shows that this candidate has a wide range of vocabulary. How to improve pet speaking, part two. In this part of the test, you will be asked to speak on your own about a picture for up to a minute. It's very important that you speak for as long as possible and don't worry at all if the examiner interrupts you and asks you to stop. That's a good thing. It shows that you're extending your speaking. The examiners just need to keep the timings though. You will each be given a picture to describe and speculate on. Here's an example from the handbook of the type of picture you could be asked to describe. You will need to do two things. Describe the picture and speculate about the picture. Here is some useful language that can help you get good marks in this part of the exam. Describing the picture. 
you need to describe everything you see in the picture for up to a minute. You can talk about the scene. For example, it's a picture of a busy classroom. You can also talk about what the people are wearing, what they are doing, what objects you can see in the picture, and how the people are using them. Speculating about the photo. We need to speculate when we are not sure of something using keywords like could be, looks like, might be, maybe, and must be. For example, it could be a classroom or a busy library. She looks like a teacher, but could be a librarian. They might be studying for an exam. Or maybe they are studying for an exam. It must be a library. So, try practicing these tips to describe pictures you see online or in newspapers or magazines. How to Improve Pet Speaking Part 3 In this part of the test, you will have to interact with your partner and build a conversation. Together, you will need to discuss, make and respond to suggestions and come to an agreement at the end. Here is an example Part 2 question that you can start practicing with. Try to use a number of different ways of giving your opinion, asking for your partner's opinion, and agreeing and disagreeing. Here is the question. A young man on holiday in North America wants to buy a present to take home to his parents. Talk together about the different presents he could buy and say which would be best. Here is a list of useful language that you can use to improve this part. First, asking your partner. What do you think? Do you agree? What's your opinion? Would you like to? Do you think so? Should we? Agreeing. Absolutely. Definitely, that's a good point. Good idea. I've never thought of that. Yeah, you're right. Me too. Disagree. Hmm, I'm not so sure. I don't think so. On the other hand, a better idea might be, I think it would be better if, using this useful language, you will be able to continue a conversation with your partner and be able to help them out at the same time. In the last part of this test, you will need to talk to your partner again. You will both be given questions about your likes, dislikes, preferences, experiences and habits. We recommend that you look back at the previous tips and reuse the language from each one for this task. But on top of that, in this question, you may need to refer to yourself a lot. Here is some language to help you do this. You could say, for me, in my experience, when I was, when I am, in my opinion. So, these are our key pieces of advice to get you prepared for the pet speaking exam.
Remember, the exam is just 10 to 12 minutes. So make sure you show the examiners that you have a good, effective command of English and are able to speak reasonably flexibly about everyday things. Use a range of language. Speak in extended chunks without hesitating to and try to involve your partner and build conversations. The examiners can't give you top marks for having reasonable pronunciation and showing potential. Show them how good you are. Use polite, friendly intonation and let them hear you do all the things that will allow them to give you really good marks in your pet speaking. Remember, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.